going on guys back in here with another video if you're new to the channel please like subscribe share it would be greatly appreciated when I was a kid there was two things that I always loved that was HO scale trains and slot cars and I always wanted a combo set but I was an AFX man and they did not offer that at that time. Back in the modern motoring days, they did, but when I came along, they stopped doing that. But Tyco still did it. And at that time, they didn't have adapter track to adapt Tyco to FX. So you either had to have one or the other. Like now, Auto World has created an adapter track that, you know, you could do Tyco to AFX or Tomy or even their own because they have the same track as Tomy does. Or you could do it from Lifelight to Auto World slash Tomy. But back in the day, they didn't have that. So I had AFX, and I was an AFX fanboy. If they had adapted track then, I probably would have gotten it. I would have broken down. I would have sold out and got the Tyco track. A friend of mine had it, and what I, it was something that always disturbed me about HO scale was... They were all over the place with the size of the cars and stuff. And the cars and the trains and the trucks did not match. And I'm going to show you in a second exactly what I'm talking about. Right here I have my lineup. Excuse the shakiness of the camera. My tripod is broken, so I have to hold it with my hand. To the left, we have a 164 scale die cast tractor trailer or just the tractor itself and you can see it's as big as the train actually it looks bigger than the train the train is ho scale which is 187 the flat car tractor uh, truck is i'm going to say it's close to 187 it's it's about right but the car the race car which is allegedly HO, is wider than the truck. It's out of scale. That's what, that's what irked me. Now the car to the right of that is the Javel, which is, I'm not sure what scale it is, but it's, it's a close match to the truck. It's closer. It might be a little bit off scale, but it's not so bad that I couldn't run them together or I wouldn't run them with the train and the car to the far right that is uh it's just a little static model that came with a house that I bought it was it was a car that's in the driveway it's supposed to sit in the driveway and that it might be right scale it, it looks close that might be the right scale or maybe a little smaller maybe it's a compact car or something but you could see that the car does not match the train like with that said this car is about the same size as the cars that came with that set and you see the car is too big so it looks off but the t-jet size car it's close. It's a good match. That's why I like running the T-Jet size cars with the trains because they look close. It doesn't look off. So I want to do another comparison with the trailer part of the die cast and the slide car trailer. So I have in this lineup the trailer from the slide car truck the trailer from the 164 scale die cast and the train. You can see the trailer 
The 164 itself is bigger than the train. This is a pretty big engine. So you can see how far off in scale. Because this would never fit in the back of this. You know, race cars can fit in the back of the truck because that's how they get them to the track. But it will fit in the back of this one. This, the T-Jet size car, and even the T-Jet size cars, they're all over the place. This one would probably fit in the back of this trailer if it was functional. This one, not nah, nah, because this is wider than the trailer. This is what irked me when back in the day. Like this trailer would fit in here. That's how bad it is. Now, if you want to run, like for me, I like the TJ size stuff with the train. They match. They're close. It's a close match. It's not perfect, but it's not so far off. That would bother me. But this and the train, nah. Because look, it's, this is wider than the train. Or as wide as the train. So it doesn't match. But anyways, guys, this is what bothered me when I was a kid with so-called HL. Anyways, drop a comment below, like, subscribe, share, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.